News to begin this midday. It looks like Purdue has its new head football coach. Like something out of a novel, Jeff's tenure this Saturday begins with his old team at Lucas Oil Stadium. Just a three-man rush. Looking long in the corner again. Andrew, he's got it. Touchdown, Bollermakers. And beyond. He takes it. Stop it. Nothing good. Again, the Boilers have it. The Boilermaker fans are enjoying it, and why not? Sindelar for Anthrop. Touchdown! Quarterback of the two-quarterback system. Oh, we took action here. Looking long and settling short, and it's Cole Herdman. And why not? The big tight end will get in. Wow. Escapes. To the end zone. Touchdown, Boilers. For Purdue. It's Fuller. And look at him in the clear. Now in the end zone. Down. That's amazing. 13th play of the drive. And Worship is near the end zone. A single time they've been in the red zone this season. They want seven. And they get it. Easily to Jackson Anthrop. If you look at that out there, what does the Boilermaker do every single time? Okay, he hammers down. And then he hammers down. And then he hammers down again. And then he hammers down! On the 25-yard line, they swing it outside and start with a trick play with a throwback to Blau. A convoy in front. And David Blau takes it near midfield. Defense, but they're able to recover momentarily. The ball comes out. A scramble for it. And who's going to get it? It's still loose. Purdue shows blitz. Then brings it delayed. O'Corn over the middle. And it is intercepted. Navon Mosley with a pick. Purdue has it at the 26. Sindelar rolling the pocket. Dumps it off for Knox. Upfield he goes. Touchdown, DJ Knox. Time we'll out on the field. We are in a weather delay. Please evacuate. Jones on the run. Cuts inside. Touchdown, Purdue. Rhoda. Game on the line. Intercepted Bentley. Jawan Bentley. On his way to a victory for Purdue. Long going motion. And here's the pitch. Left side is Knox. Hit. Keeps his feet and keeps on running. DJ Knox the five. Touchdown, Purdue. 260 pounds. Worship 10 carries 53 yards. And that ball come out. The flag thrown. They're going to get Stanley Green, I believe, on a potential targeting call here. Wow, third and short. Sindelar keeping, rolling now, throwing, end zone, caught, touchdown Hopkins, touchdown Purdue. So he's got to try to keep it tight, so this is what you're seeing the whole game. Taking he's a got deep shot. Mahundu open, touchdown! Last drive, not out there right now. First and ten at midfield. Sindelar going up top, Mahundu there again, and it doesn't matter who's on him. Sindelar looking that direction, looking for Mahundu in the end zone. Mahundu's got it. It's a touchdown. Second down and 10 at the 29. Stanley to throw. Pressure coming. Oh, Stanley in trouble. Play. And Stanley is sacked. TJ McCollum went airborne to land on Nathan Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Jeff Brom called a terrific game today. And next week, not only will the old oaken bucket be up for grabs, but inside the old oaken bucket, you'll find a ball bit. Morgan Ellison is the running back. They fake it to him, and Lego leans forward and has it picked off. Intercepted by Garrett Hudson. The oh. Quick end around for an easy touchdown. Yards deep. Speed sweep. Touchdown. Antwerp. That's the second time they've run that play this time. Purdue. That ball is laid out, caught. That's going to be a touchdown for Mahungu. 
Jacinda Lardy looked left, goes back to the right. Touchdown! And the percentage increase for the crowds this year set records. Almost 12,600 over last year. That's the biggest increase in the FBS. And Purdue will go to 6-6. Six and six. Ball eligible, Indiana. Season is going to end at 5-7. and seven. And there go the Boilermakers to the sideline. They're going to get that bucket. Right now by Jace Whitaker, looking in his direction, and instead of going over the top, they throw the speed out. He makes a miss. He takes it to the end zone for the Purdue touchdown. Rotation. Takes the fake on first and ten, and Sindelar scans the field, unloads downfield. What a catch! And the touchdown for Gregory Phillips. The starting the end. Sindelar lets it fly. He's got another touchdown to Gregory Phillips. DJ Knox cuts it back. He's in for the Purdue touchdown. Are you a trick play? Yeah, what are we doing with the, going to a kneel down 56 seconds? And you bet it is a trick play. They hand it off to DJ Knox. He gets a first down and more. They fake the kneel down and run for 41 yards. Jeff Brom strikes again. Arizona bringing pressure again. This time it's picked up into one-on-one. -on -one. Mahungu makes the catch and fights in for the Purdue touchdown. Make things happen even when there's nothing there. Third down and long. He tries to do just that. Lofts it into the arms of Jacob Thieneman for an interception. Brown had come open. Tate just missed him. And with a minute 16 left, the Boilers take it. From Princeton, Kentucky swings it out. There's the first catch for Rondell there. Moore. And there's the athleticism. That's why they love this kid. Yeah, and win it. this game. Play fake. Down the middle. And caught. What a catch. There's some points. Who has not run the ball much in this first quarter. They will give it on a little jet sweep. Rondell Moore will get the first down and much more. How about this kid in the Northwestern Territory? I don't think they can catch him. Moore, touchdown. We might have a new star in college football. David Blau to the air. Underneath, Rondell Moore bounces off the tackle, and there he goes. Moore will take it all the way. Blau, quick slant, there's Rondell Moore, and Moore oh, spins man. out a tackle, makes another man miss. Rondell Moore, what a play. Blau, open, wide open, 25 miles with a spin, and Moore with more points for the Boilermakers. From the 15, swings it to Moore. Oh, Moore. Some room where there wasn't any. Finding some power and finding the end zone for the touchdown. Red zone trips. Only 17 touchdowns. Kicked 11 field goals in the red zone. And now a throw to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Isaac Zico. Haskins for the end zone. Deflected and knocked away. He was looking for McLaurin. And Antonio Blackman was there to break it up. In here. Pick up the pressure for the end zone. Incomplete. And that's Blackman who has broken up a couple of potential touchdowns tonight. We shared on college game day early this morning as this entire fan base has rallied around one of their own sophomore, Tyler Trent. Trent has fought through cancer three times to form an incredible bond with this football program. There you can see the type of fan that he's been. He served in his eyes an honorary captain last season. And then again, this season, forming a special bond with head coach Jeff Brahms. Now in home hospice care, 20 years old, Chris. He has circled this night, this game, as the place he most wants to be. Wow, rolls that direction and delivers underneath. Touchdown! Old time, Big Ten football. Touchdown, Purdue! More to the left. It's a quick handoff, and bursting up the middle is Knox! Dexter Phillip Knox, touchdown! They fake it to him, now Knox cuts back. Knox in the clear, foot race, touchdown!
Touchdown, Purdue! As Purdue tries to finish his off, a tr tremendously satisfying win. We think, obviously, about Tyler Trent. He had one wish, one wish, as he makes his way toward the Purdue locker room, and that was for Purdue to upset Ohio State and for him to be here to see it all the way down. It's more in motion. They get it to him. More in space. A burst of speed. A first down for Purdue. He's still going. More. Cuts back. Touchdown. Boilermakers believe that despite just shocking the world and pulling the upset, they, they're contenders in the Big Ten West. It is intercepted. Bailey the other way. Marcus Bailey punctuates this upset with a pick six. And watch his team drub the number two team in the country. Final seconds, I won't even snap it. Boilermakers rush the field. What a night in West Lafayette. It's a rage. <laughs> Blau launches Terry Wright. He got a touchdown. Has not looked rattled by the pressure. Blau launches. Go with him. Blau. To the end zone. Terry Wright. Blau continuing to look left. Now throws to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. I like what Purdue has on the field compared to what I saw this, this year with Louisville. Brown taking a deep shot. There's more. Wide open. Had to wait on it. But gets away and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Trying to add to the one touchdown lead. Time to throw. Blau towards the end zone. Caught in stride. Guess who? Down the stretch. Back to Jones. Big crease. There he goes. Markel Jones being dragged, but he reaches into the end zone. But every player plays this game right there. King Doru. Leaf flicker play. Open. Bell has got it. Touchdown, Purdue. Down and two. Belton to keep again. Karloftis is there. George Karloftis. Rager at the top of the screen. Belton deflected and intercepted by Karloftis. Only a sophomore. Well, that's a good point. We got the commitment as Karloftis gets the sack. Plummer trying to get that yardage right back with a touchdown and he does so. He set on first down. Screen pass to David Bell. The true freshman into Indiana territory all the Ramsey under pressure and sacked. O'Connell downfield. What a catch! And Justin makes the catch. Wow! O'Connell in the direction of Bell. And Justin he makes the catch! A round runner as Jerry Rice, and that's how they kind of look at him. Looking for him over the top, on the run with the catch down inside the 30. Plummer looking back, shoulder Bell sliding and making the catch. What a play by David Bell. Plummer, the deep throws have been denied all day, and there's the hook up to David Bell. It's up to the... Backup quarterback Aiden O'Connell to come in and try to clean this one up. You are. Try cropping running down there. <laughs> <laughs> Over the middle. Nice. There's Hopkins. Expect that they can march the ball down the field. That's right in motion. Play nice. play. Nice. Got Reverse it. Touchdown. To Bell. All the way. Ring it up, Purdue. Touchdown. Back to the air. For the extra yardage. Situation, great play call. 
O'Connell going for the end zone, reaching up and grabbing it, David Bell. Going for the end zone, and he grabbed it. And the kick into the teeth of the wind is good. You see how emotional the local kid is here. First start in front of the family and friends. That's what makes this sport great. So no head coach today in Jeff Brom, who announced on Sunday he tested positive for coronavirus. Meeting his younger brother, co-offensive coordinator Brian Brom is the interim head coach. Bell, the second half in the matchup last year. On second and goal. Into the end zone, a sliding catch is made, and a touchdown for David Bell. Where he runs his routes. Make the handoff, and that one is over the head of Belton, and is caught by Bell. Empty backfield, Aiden O'Connell, a pocket, throws open, caught, touchdown, Purdue! Aiden O'Connell, speaking of taking a shot, this time it's Milton Wright! Replaced him. O'Connell, in a little bit of trouble, able to throw it to the back of the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown by David Bell! One minute left in the third, an option play here, and he kept it, and the ball comes free! And picking it up in the end zone is Jalen Graham for a Purdue defensive touchdown. O'Connell throwing for Bell, and Bell just won the game for the Boilermakers. Quickly, Nolan under center. He fakes the handoff. Nolan's going to throw him down the field. Lindsay's oh. knocked away by Corey Trice. Wow. Nope, it's a throw on third and short, and wide open. It's Durham again. Payne Durham is going to seal it to the end zone. Ball game, touchdown Purdue. From the 30, quick out. It's Bell with room. Bell avoids another tackle. Trying to turn the corner, avoids another one. David Bell into the end zone. Play fake, Plummer with time, walks it. Bell wide open. David Bell with a block, stays on his feet, extends. Did he get the ball there? Touchdown! 31, longest run for Duru. And Plummer tries to pay it off. Downfield with a flag and a catch by David Bell. Their top offensive. He's worried about the first down. Right is at the top of your screen. Sheffield has it, and Sheffield has the touchdown! Jeff Braun and Purdue improved to three and one, and they've got the Cannon Trophy. Three of the last four against the Hawkeyes. Iowa rushes five, and here is David Bell out in space. Look out! Bell into Iowa territory. They're trying to catch him at the 30. He's pushed. Play fake here. Setting up, taking a shot, going for David Bell. It's pulled in inside the 25-yard line. O'Connell, pump fake, thrown to the end zone, and the ball is on the money. It's caught for a touchdown by David Bell. The Purdue Boilermakers knock off number two. An outstanding overall performance by Jeff Brahms Boilermakers, who have more wins, Purdue, in its history against top two teams as an unranked squad than anybody in the history of the game. Twice as many as anybody. Mertz, 5 of 5, passing it here. The ball's free. Carlock just picks it up. He's got a lot of speed. And he takes it in. Touchdown. That's what he wants for his quarterback, Adrian Martinez. Picked off and intercepted Jalen Graham to the house. And just like that, Purdue strikes. Overrated. He's all about the pressures. This modern age of collegiate offenses. Dangerous pass. It is an intercepted again. It is. Jalen Graham, right place, right time. In his run game and forcing Adrian Martinez to make plays in the pass game. Wide open was Allen, and it's going to be intercepted off the carom. Chris Jefferson. Tenth of the country in sacks. Here they come against O'Connell. He's in trouble, and he breaks free. Puck fakes, throws, ends on touchdown. Four-man rush, O'Connell pump fake, now throws a deep ball, going for Bell, and Bell caught it inside the 10. The defender fell down, Chester Kimbrough. And the makers after the two-yard loss, O'Connell to the end zone, and the pass is pulled in. Brock Thompson, touchdown. It's a young man. Anthrop moving into the backfield, and here comes a reverse, and then a throw. 
And it's Anthrop who originally got the handoff that gets the catch. And he's loose inside the 25, reversing field, inside the 15, gets a block, inside the 10, to the end zone, touchdown Purdue! The field, let's see what he does in third and 10. Taking a shot, Bell somehow is left open, makes the catch inside the 30-yard line, inside the 20, fighting through arm tackles. Second half was just outstanding. Thorn in trouble and down he goes! Sacked by Demarcus Mitchell. It's a That's the game. My rule, the game is over. Let the carnage and the chaos continue. Another top five team goes down. Play action pass going up top for right. He's got separation. Milton Wright. Touchdown, Purdue. Third and eight. Going up top right. Touchdown, Purdue. David Bell. Been able to contain it. The up and go. Right is open. Right again to the end zone. His third touchdown. Oh, especially with the efficiency. Big third down play. Going for the home run. Right again. Caught. Milton Wright driving inside the five over his last four games. On first and ten after the penalty. Wide open. Paul Peferi. Grimmel steps up. George Karloftis wraps him up. And a five-yard loss on the butter in the case that time. On first down, O'Connell. Pass is caught. Jackson Anthrop. 37% of the time. On first and goal. Touchdown, TJ Sheffield. And the Boilers are up big. Around Ann Arbor. Yeah. First and 10. O'Donnell pass caught. David Bell took a shot from Raheem Lane. On second and eight, the pitch to Downing. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Purdue. <laughs> There she is, the old Oaken Bucket. Raise it up there, fellas. Boilermakers earn it this season. After missing so many players to the portal, O'Connell rolls, going to let go deep, wide open. A Purdue first down and more for Brock Thompson. On the U-turn on lower Broadway, he is in. Touchdown, Purdue, 75 yards. Who finished it, but Tennessee did their part as well. Third and ten. Hooker has a hit out of his hand. Falls on the grass and Purdue scrambling for it. Boilermakers have it. Little boot and a dump. Touchdown. Payne Durham. O'Connell fires. Caught. First down Purdue. What a grab by Garrett Miller. 26. It's third and goal. Into the end zone. Caught. They rule it a touchdown, but Sheffield. It's playing coverage. Over the middle. Caught by the tight end. Payne Durham. Into Tennessee territory. Spins free. Durham down the sideline. A stiff arm. He is in. What a play. Snap, O'Connell fires, sideline, caught! It's Brock Thompson again, and he will rumble all the way down to the sideline for a 70-yard touchdown! For Purdue's ninth win of the season. It is good, and Purdue in a back-and-forth affair wins it in overtime. Tracy in motion, O'Connell with time, touchdown Purdue, Chuck Sizzle, Charlie Jones.
first down at the 48. Clifford over the middle. High and pick. Jefferson with room. Can he get a block? Chris Jefferson still on the move with a lane. Jefferson. Touchdown. Purdue. 72 yards. O'Connor again. He's going down. Field. He's got Charlie Jones. Charlie Jones has got a touchdown. What can he do in this situation? He's going to go deep. He's, He's got, got Charlie Jones. He's got it again. It's forcing them to communicate and be, get them on their heels. On third and four, towards the end zone. That's in for six. Touchdown, Charlie Jones. On second down, Burton looking for the end zone. And it's bubbled and caught for a touchdown. O'Connell to throw again. Sets his feet, long ball, Jones wide open, touchdown! Offensive end for Purdue, Maccabi gets outside with a stiff arm, Maccabi throws a second stiff arm to the pylon, touchdown! Well, right now you're in four minute offense, can you close out the game? Maccabi cuts a jagged path across midfield, nobody in front, can they track him down? Devin Maccabi still going, takes it inside the five! Okay, where's Lowe? Doesn't matter, Turk has some room to run, Turn bringing the whole Maryland defense with him, still on his feet, brings it down inside the five! The fourth third down here, Sheffield, Sheffield spins free, Sheffield dives, touchdown Purdue! O'Connell will throw, and it's caught oh. by Jones, touchdown Purdue! What a pass! Second down and six, O'Connell to throw, maybe. Gets it out of there, caught, Jones, touchdown! Third and six, Freeman. the interception. Purdue stays on the field. O'Connell floats it. It's caught! Touchdown Charlie Jones! O'Connell rolling left. Floats back in the end zone. Jump ball! It was caught! Touchdown Purdue! Payne Durham! Play action. O'Connell it's caught! Payne Durham! Dragging a man all the way for a Purdue touchdown! Third and five. DeVito throws quickly, batted ball. It's intercepted! There's the cannon trophy. He's going back 90 miles to Purdue. O'Connell looking left throws. There's Charlie Jones in space. Charlie Jones is free. Charlie Jones across midfield and tripped up inside the 40. He has two tonight. O'Connell to Durham. Goal line power touchdown Purdue. Maccabee left side makes a cut inside the 10. Another cut touchdown Purdue. Maccabee crazy legs on display. A 27 yard touchdown run. Maccabee picks up the blitz. O'Connell time. Jones wide open. Inside the 10. Touchdown Purdue. Bazelak rolling in his own end zone. Trying to keep the play alive and now throws. That's caught nowhere near the line. The game by Bennett. And he has the ball ripped away by Corey Trice, and it's a touchdown for Purdue. And that's the end of the game. Gatorade bucket emptied on Jeff Brom. For the first time in school history, Purdue will head to Indy and play in the Big Ten title game. The Big Ten West champions will play number three Michigan in the Big Ten title game in Indy a week from tonight. Purdue, Michigan, the Big Ten Championship. And
this time it's Tracy. Hits the edge. Another first down. Tracy. Touchdown, Purdue. High formation. They'll give it to him. Plowing forward. No signal yet. Determined that the runner did break the plane of the goal line. And they run it. Purdue diving. And that's Durham. The eight. Play fake. O'Connell delivers. Caught at the 25. Chuck Sizzle. Behind O'Connell. Here they fake the pitch back. Mockaby with running room. Gets a first down and more. Mockaby hurdling. And it'll be down. McCarthy buying time. Let's it fly and intercepted. O'Connell looking to the sideline, throws it up and drops it in. What a throw! Sawinski.